Well, shifting gears for all you bookworms out there, Korea's most popular international book fair is in full swing. But it's no longer just about ink and paper. Literary works as well as the publishing industry are also evolving with the times implementing future technologies. Our Kim jong su reports from Seoul International Book Fair 2016. The Seoul International Book Fair opened for its 22nd run this year. I would like to welcome the 17 countries and 378 publishing houses that have enriched our event this year. For the first time ever, the event is being held in tandem with Digital Book Fair Korea 2016 to show the past, present and future of the now globalized Korean publishing industry. With the help of special exhibitions, attendees could trace how the first books written in Hangul were printed and published nearly 600 years ago. Fast forward to 2016, Deborah Smith, the British translator whose most well-known work is this year's Man Booker International Prize winner, The Vegetarian by Han Gang. It's not a good thing to make one culture sound like it is derivative of another as though it is sort of borrowing these things or it's a lesser version. Also in the spotlight, the flourishing publishing industries of two major cultural heavyweights in Europe, France and Italy. We are showing mainly children books and the e-books. We believe that a good book can easily communicate with a child and it helps to shape a better future. Italy's exhibition in particular was met with great fanfare. I am very impressed with Italian children's books. The visuals are very creative, so I think it'll be great to show my three-year-old child. To top things off, visitors were also given a glimpse into the future of the publishing industry. Our company's plan is to make a distributive digital platform for Korean authors, similar to the way video makers use YouTube. We want people to be able to go from creator to publisher without much hassle. With more than 100,000 people expected to come to the fair, which runs through Sunday, it looks like the event has achieved its goal of uniting book lovers from all around the world. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.